Hi, everybody! Italian production Robbing Mussolini released on Netflix. The film starts with an illegal weapon deal initiated by Isola, the son of a former resistance martyr who has been raised to believe that thieves are better than heroes as they often survive the game. He trades the automatic weapons along with heavy explosives with a few members of the resistance movement and is soon interrupted by a raid from the fascists. Isola has a team of trusty associates come family, including a like-minded sharpshooter Marcello and a professional code breaker played by Luigi Fidele. The wartime entrepreneur also has a love interest Yvonne, who is close to Mussolini's top hierarchical man Borsellino. After the bust from the fascist watchdogs, Isola learns about the treasure of Mussolini that is being shifted to Switzerland. He immediately hatches a plan to steal from the big stealer and strike a big blow to the dictatorial leaders. All he needs is a team of misfits that are ready to risk everything for a near impossible heist. It has to be said that the acting performances, which are all sadly below par, are heavily constricted by weak writing when it comes to character construction and superficial when exploring conflict, while the film's narrative subplots are disappointingly predictable. The truish story had all the ingredients to shine and establish its mark with a perfect setup. However, the ingathering screenplay prevents the film from lifting off and keeps all the intrigue out of everyone's reach. Furthermore, you can still watch the film if you love the combination of history and heist.